Hey everybody, Jared back once again, so I've got another super useful app review for you guys today. Actually from the same developer that brought us Snowview, that's S-N-O View. I really highly recommend you check out uh, that application on the uh, Play Store, um, best social network app you'll ever download. Anyways, today we're taking a look at LED Blinker. Now there are a few different LED um, control applications out there, however, this is sort of taking the best of those applications putting them together in one solid, stable, mention stable, package, okay? Let's say, for instance, you either have a device with a physical LED notification, or maybe you have a device like the Galaxy S2 that doesn't have a physical LED button, which can be very frustrating for a lot of people. Um, this application has come to the rescue. So, uh, what can we do with this? Well, right now I actually have it currently set up for an on-screen virtual LED, so let's go ahead and test it out. Go ahead and click on the test button and I'll shut down. You'll notice it actually, well, you probably didn't notice, but it actually vibrated twice, which is an option that I chose to enable in the settings menu, which we'll get to in just a moment. But you'll notice we actually have our on-screen LED notification light. Now, I actually chose to have the large one. You can get smaller ones as well, um, but I went with the large one just so it's, um, you know, sort of more visible, if you will. You'll also notice the frequency of the blinking is quite high. That's also an option that you can choose in the settings menu. So complete control over notification um, LEDs or virtual LEDs notification lights, right? But uh, so we'll go ahead and jump back in there and I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like with the um, physical home uh, notification lights. So we'll go ahead and disable the screen. I'll back out of there, jump back into test again, turn off the screen. And as you notice, it vibrates twice and you can see my physical notification light blinking down there at the bottom. And again, the frequency is set to one second, which I'll show you in just a moment, or I'll show you in one second. <laughs> Good joke, Jared. Uh, so we'll jump back into settings here. Now you'll notice that we also have the ability to auto start it. Um, generally speaking, if you have this application installed, you're probably going to want to have that auto start so that every time you reboot your device, it can continues to work. Uh, screen LED is obviously the on-screen LED that I just demonstrated to you folks not too long ago. Um, you also have the blink rate, which I can show you one second, which is what I have it set to all the way up to 120 seconds. Fantastic. As well as LED fade and so you can just look a little more pretty, a little more eye candy there for you. Um, as well as overwrite system LED, so this is basically taking control of your notification LED center, if you will, as well as to disable the blinker. And this isn't just to disable the application. This is actually shutting off any visual notification cues that you get from the device for a um, predetermined period of time, as you can see there, which I thought was super useful. I'm sure you guys can come up with all kinds of situations where that would come in useful. Now, what's interesting is that this is actually the pro version. The free version is, well, free, but the pro version is a buck 50, buck 54, really, if you want to get specific in Canadian dollars. And I think that the pro version, or at least the free version, is a really great way to test out if the application works flawlessly on your device. If it does, go ahead and download the pro version because the pro version comes with basically 95% more functionality. The free version gives you maybe missed calls, SMS, and low status, uh, low battery status. Um, but what I like is that it gives you all the options very simply play, uh, laid out here, different... Um, um, different lights, you can choose to have the LED on or off for that specific and respective application, as well as you'll notice this long, long list of other um, applications, messaging applications, email applications that require a notification or a visual um, notification cue, such as an LED light. So that's cool. Um, anyways, guys, it is a fantastic, fantastic application. I definitely recommend you guys test out and try out for yourself. Um, I won't be deleting this from my collection of useful applications. I love the functionality that it comes with. Now, before I leave you with this app, I do want to mention that for those of you out there with a Samsung Galaxy S3 or an S3 mini, um, this is no fault by the developer or Android itself. This is actually a Samsung issue. Um, if you want this application to work flawlessly with your device, you're going to have to go into settings, um, apps manager, and locate Google's text-to-speech or Google TTS and actually disable it. Chances are a lot of you don't even use the text-to-speech anyways, um, but you're going to have to disable that in order to get this to work properly. Don't ask me why. I'm not a developer, um, but that's the situation. So anyways, that's it for now though, guys. I uh, thank you so much for watching. I will be posting a link to this application in the about section down below. So make sure you go ahead head over there and test it out for yourself. Let me know what you think of it. Leave Mario, the developer, some comments if he can improve it in any way, shape or form. Uh, but thank you so much for watching everybody. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that likes button down below. And if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. I do my best to put out videos five days a week. Uh, thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.